Today on Taste of Rosé, it's my great pleasure to have Mike Tassarik with Sacred Thirst Selections. Um, welcome, Mike. Thank you for having me, Bob. Yeah, yeah it's good uh, to be here. You know, um, I met Mike actually through Twitter. Um, if you want to follow him on Twitter, it's PN Riesling Fan, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike has actually taught me um, so much about wine. He's one of the most knowledgeable people I know out there about wine. Mike, tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, I've been in the wine business um, about 20 years at this point. Um, I've always been the kid that uh, I wanted to taste the new thing on the menu that I had not had. So if it was a new grape variety, I automatically look to that and that's what I'm going to order. Um, very adventuresome wine drinker and uh, I think that's what we really do for Sacred Thirst Selections uh, as well. What did you bring for us today? Uh, we brought uh, a rosé from Corsica from a producer called Casa Rosa. Um, it's a blend of Niluccio and Grenache. And then we also... Niluccio. Niluccio. Okay, stop there. Niluccio. Well, explain... Okay, that's one of those kind of grapes. I guess you're going to introduce me to something new. It right? just rolls off the tongue, Bob. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a grape variety that uh, you find in, in Corsica. Um, in this case, it's made to be very light and refreshing, um, but it is a red grape um, that you could have in, in a red wine as well. Um, so, but light, refreshing, pale colored rosé that uh, will fit most people's budget and uh, perfect summertime wine or perfect in the winter, honestly, if you're in California like today. Yeah, right. So we're going to have a rosé from Corsica today. And then the second selection you brought? Uh, this is Chateau Roustan, which is from uh, the southern part of France, uh, just south of the Rhone Valley. And it's in Coster de Nîmes is the area. It is a blend of Grenache, Mouvedre, and Syrah. Here we came up with a little charcuterie and cheese plate. And uh, do you feel that that's a, a good pairing for the Sacred Thirst Selection rosés that you brought today? Absolutely. Uh, softer, creamier cheeses and some saltier cured meats. Uh, they go great with a lot of things, but they're going to go great with these rosés. Um, the saltiness in, in those meats, uh, perfect with the... Uh, the minerality and the freshness in these wines. Uh, I think we should taste the Corsican rosé. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, let's, let's have a taste of rosé. Ah, perfect, perfect summer wine. Very gentle, easy to drink. Elegant, actually. And very refreshing. Yeah. So elegant and, and at, a, at a wonderful price point. You said this is an excellent value. It is, great value. Mm. Okay. Under $13, regardless of where you find it. Wow, okay, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I really like this. I think many producers, this is uh, in the past few years, more of the style, trying to go for this lighter, more salmon colored rosé. Um, people tend to tend to look for that and enjoy it more, whether they're picking the wine by the color, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the color indicates quality and flavor. Okay. Um, but in this case, the wine is light, very refreshing, a um, little lower in alcohol, uh, lower in alcohol here. Surprisingly long finish. It's still... It's, it's lingered. Yeah, it's still playing in my mouth, in my palate. So we're going to be tasting the rosé from Custard de Nîmes next, is that correct? That's correct. A little more body than the Corsican wine that we just had. Okay. It's also very refreshing, light. Mmm. I get a lot more red berry fruit, I think, off the top. It's definitely more aromatic toward more aromatic, uh, it just smells richer. Mm hmm yeah, I, I'm getting that. Beautiful, almost creamy texture to it. Mm. Mouth coating, but still refreshing. The palate, palate is, um, as you finish, it's very crisp. Yeah, totally different. Both beautiful, beautiful rosés, but really totally different in your experience of these rosés. Mm -hmm. It's complex. Rosés are very complex regardless of the price point, as you can see. So um, even though these wines are great values, you get a lot of flavor and bang for your buck. So this is also a great value? Yes, under, oh. under $15. Wow, okay. Mm. This is not a simple wine. I mean, it's, we're great here, we're sitting out in the patio, you know, it's, it's the perfect place to enjoy a rosé, but 
And oftentimes rosés can be a little bit more simple, and that's okay. They're, they could be porch wines, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. But this certainly is not. There is a lot going on here. Just like with the Corsican wine, it's Sacred Thirst Selections likes to choose wines that make you think, make you think about the wine, and wines that are going to go with food. Gotcha. So. Um, there's a lot of complexity in rosé, and I, I hope that um, people continue to look for that and look for interesting rosés like these. Excellent. You can contact them via sacredthirstselections.com and um, you know expand your palate. That's what's so exciting is enjoying new and different wines. So with that, thank you for being here, Mike, and let's have a taste of rosé. Thank you.